Every day across the UK, over 11 billion litres of dirty water, sewage, are produced. And that's to be cleaned. It has to come to water treatment plants like this. That's because you can't put dirty water into the rivers and seas. You have to filter it to separate out the dirt you can see and the nasty things you can't. Mogden Sewage Plant is one of the largest wastewater treatment facilities in the country, serving 2.4 million Londoners. So this is all from central London. Right? Is it, this is London's poo, <laughs> basically sweeping through. That's exactly where it is, Brian. You flush the toilet, everything that you can flush down the toilet goes through it, comes down this way. Every time it rains, it goes into the sewers, into those drain pipes that you see on the side of the road, comes down here, and it eventually ends up at Mogden. So is that what the water looks like when it comes in? So that's exactly what it looks like when it comes, before it gets to the first stage of filtering. So this process here works exactly like a sieve. Anything bigger than a six millimetre hole will get caught on this sieve, taken away, put into skips and taken off site. Anything smaller than six millimetres will pass through that hole. So where does, the, uh, where does the slightly cleaner water go next? So that slightly cleaner water goes to the next process of the sewage treatment process, and I'll show you where it is now. So this is the second stage, the primary sediment tank. Gravity is our best friend here. What sinks to the bottom of this is what we call sludge smaller, finer bits of poo. We have a scraper that scrapes that bottom of the tank. Anything solid is then taken away. What goes over the side of this is the cleaner water. So how clean is this water now when it comes out of this stage? What you're getting coming out of here is what we've got in this sample bottle right here. You see it's slightly more clearer from what the first sample that we saw, but still not good enough for us to send out to the River Thames. So what happens to the water that comes out of here? The next process of this treatment will be taken to our aeration lanes. In our aeration lanes, we pump a whole lot of air into it, but we promote bacteria to feed off these smaller clumps of solid matter in there. That's interesting. So you get the bacteria to eat any tiny bits that are there. Exactly. It then goes to our final stage, our final sediment tank, similar to what we've got here. The bacteria clumps together, settles to the bottom of the tank. Anything that's clean then comes over. So what does the water look like when you're finished? So when we've finished, what we have is this product here. That's what we call final effluent, which we send out to the river. It's quite beautiful, actually, that, isn't it? Yeah. And that's just four stages of filtering. That's four stages of filtering. Yeah, that looks almost drinkable, that. Almost, it? almost. But we have a separate process that we use to make sure that we can get water like this drinkable. 